cat. A Cheshire cat. Doll a mimosy. I'm making Alice in Wonderland cutouts. I sketched the images on foam core that is 32 by 40 by 3 16 of an inch. Then I traced it using permanent marker. The permanent marker will show through the paint, but any pencil marks, if they were drawn light enough, will get covered up when I start painting. Then I went outside to cut out the images because I'm using a hot knife and I don't want to smell the fumes. Then I'm going to spray it with gesso to make sure the surface is easy to paint on. And then I take some basic colors and spray paint those colors. I spray painted pink on the cat and gold around the edges of the clock. After that, I chose colors that I thought were close to the image and I painted them in with a very soft brush. I also added a little shading to give it a little more realism. I was very careful to paint inside of the lines, but in the event that I painted over my outlines, I can always add them back on top of the painting. For my outlines, I am a big fan of paint pens. The permanent markers don't work so well on top of the actual paint. So this is a crink paint marker that I'm using in black to trace over my lines and also to draw a black line around the edge of the image. I used it to fill in my letters as well but it wasn't super smooth, so I still went back and filled in the letters with acrylic paint as well. The paint marker worked amazing for the numbers on the clock and the images, and I also had a red paint marker to fill in the diamond in the heart. I sprayed a satin clear coat on top, but I don't think it's necessarily mandatory. And here are my images. But in the end, the cat needed some brighter colors, so it was a quick fix.